The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Buffaloes will kick it off to get us underway. Fielded in the end zone. It's Scott. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Tigers' offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double-team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball in quick passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Auburn to the line in a hurry. Hand off from the gun. Makes a man miss. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. He leaves it with his back. At midfield, he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. You know, in the SEC, you're going to have to run the football if you're going to win games. And you can go on and on talking about great Auburn running backs back in the day. But right here, right now, if this team's going to win an SEC championship, they need to force feed this guy the football and let him go to work. They go to the ground. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quick pass on the fly motion. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. And the Tigers have it with a first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you've got the offense right where you are. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. I really like this offense staying aggressive. They were in field goal range, but nice job on third down. Forget that. Let's go get the first down. Let's throw the football. Nice read, nice catch. Now set up with a first and goal situation. Now with a first and goal, let's see what Auburn's got cooking. Calls his own number. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. 
You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. He got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. They'll try to run it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. They want to dance their way in on third and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Decision coming up here. I'm kicking a field goal, though, David. First drive of the game, you want to pay it off and just put some points up on it. Well, and see, I'd go for the touchdown because here's the thing. I'm going to make them go the length of the field, almost 100 yards, even if I get stopped. I'm starting this game aggressive. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Buffaloes offense will go to work for the first time today. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. And it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Sanders. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Real power running by this guy as he bangs his way to the 24. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Hunter. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. Quarterback, what do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. Offense, quick tempo. Got him downfield. And he'll take it in and house it. What did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. Three, 
And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper coming on that 48-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, David. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They'll run play action. Going over the top. Got it in stride inside the 20. Touchdown, Auburn! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And the big play starts with the protection up front. This takes a long time to develop. He's going to start all the way on the right side, run all the way across the field. So you got to have protection. He hangs in there, throws the football perfectly. The big play, the big touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking to the big tight end, and they can't make the play on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Buffaloes line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He gets a block. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Now on first and 10 from the 35. He wants to throw. Safe completion on the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. 
Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Leaves it with the running back. Brought down after picking up three, down to the 22. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Now the play fake. Throws toward the end zone. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. So that penalty will be declined, and the touchdown stands. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes with the return. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake now to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. And offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't big. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for room. It's Hayden. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To the air, it's Sanders. Makes the grab over the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They'll try the run. Got enough for the first down. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. This guy's a game changer at the running back position, man. And don't you just feel like you have to be if you're going to be toting the rock at Auburn? Bo Jackson obviously won a Heisman Trophy. Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown on the same team at the same time. And then Tank Bigsby here in recent years, too. Physical runners, but they also had speed. They were the total package. And I think this guy fits right into that category. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. The Tigers have that QB run game rolling like toilet paper headed for Toomer's Corner. Yeah, and I just think of Cam Newton in that magical season and, and seeing the toilet paper come out a lot that year on their way to a national championship. But Auburn and that fan base, man, they have some great fans. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Coleman. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Man, how about the first half this guy's having? He already has two touchdowns, picks up a huge first down right here. On defense, you're going to have to find a way to control this guy. You're going to have to make some big-time adjustments at halftime. 
The Tigers with the first and ten. Going to run it. It's Hunter. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that list, but they just would not stop chasing that ball carrier. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got it on the move. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. And here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Guys, a double-digit lead is good, but more would have been better. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw, it's Sanders. He unleashes a long one. Makes the catch down the right side. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, Bucks! And once he got loose, it was all over. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. And stampeding through the defense. And the returner will be brought down. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, afterburner's coming. The 30 at the 20. Touchdown, Tigers. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. And just a really nice throw. Really good touch towards the sideline on that corner route. And the receiver does a nice job catching the football and immediately getting up the field, getting in the end zone for the big touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. He finds his man. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. He's looking for a man on second down. Got it set up on the outside. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. Oh, he can't hang on. Almost had the interception, and this guy makes so many big plays but couldn't come up with that one. It'll be fourth down. And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. They're trying to get to it. Just tried to ease it out there, and it falls incomplete. Offense gets set for second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. This time he's got his man. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Wants to throw on third down. Caught on the outside. It's Burton. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Quickly complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a group. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Catch in the middle, it's Coleman. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And now the lead is extended a little further. 
That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll start the return inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder. And welcome in to the halftime update. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. The Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll open the second half on the ground. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David. They're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. to the outside is complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, when you get that man coverage, most people are taught to have inside leverage. So that out route's there if your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy. But tight coverage, but a really nice throw on that out route. And on second down for this offense. On the ground, it's Hayden. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Yeah, and I just need a crease. I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is. And he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. And the Buffaloes will have it first and 10. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And a really nice.
nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They'll give it to him again. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. The Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Looking to pass, it's Sanders. He's got his man. And he's knocked down immediately, but a good pickup on that play. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now. Because of the pass completion, it's first and goal. He's looking to throw. Got it! They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Trying play action. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. I think we need to see more creativity in the route running. We need some slants. We need some outbreaking routes. You're expecting man coverage down this area of the field, so you got to do something to create separation. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Oh, well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. Lining up to add another. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play call. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. The play-action fake. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. they got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. Nice 
not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Throwing right. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working. That last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. The give to the tailback. Sweet cut there. Fights off a defender. And he uses the stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. And this running back right now is sending a very clear message. He doesn't want to just be known as a guy that can run around you or run away from you. He wants you to know he can lower the shoulder and get those tough yards if need be. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the one. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. And they'll move the chains with the first down. But that might be it for the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. The gift to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. There. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Thorne. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. Fires to the tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And after that completion, it's decision time now for the head coach. Do you kick a field goal, add to your lead, and make it more difficult on the opposing offense? Or do you trust your quarterback to make one more big completion here and ice the game? And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And 
and he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got the quick completion. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. They'll leave it with the lone back. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Let him bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, the short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's right on target. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. Here's the handoff. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. And that ball is live in the backfield. Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. The offense fortunate to still have the ball, but also facing a big third down. They go to the draw. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the Rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. The Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. On the run, it's Hayden. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Grabs it in the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. 
quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Got some room to run. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got to lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Takes a handoff. It's Hunter. Keeps the legs moving. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time. Got to make a stand right here on third down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Auburn sends out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got his man quickly. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Hey, the defense is going to give you those all day. We're late in the game now. They've got the big lead. Expect them to play big zone defenses and try to keep the football in front of them. If you want to throw it short, they're just going to rally to the ball and just bleed this game out. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. Looking downfield is Sanders. He's taking the deep shot. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. I'll tell you, this offense just can't afford too many more incompletions because time's running out in the game. They need big plays in the passing attack, vertically down the field, and they've got to score some touchdowns. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Tigers! And, man, the offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. How about this? These guys are going for two. From the gun, looking for a man. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two as they extend the lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Bringing it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Couldn't hang on to that one. This defense has already picked off three passes, almost had the fourth. It'll be second down. 
At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure, taking a sack there. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. The Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To throw, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you work in the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. That big play put them in business. Now they're right on the edge of the red zone as they go to work first and ten. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. The offense gets the timeout. 12 ticks left on the clock. This is a third and long. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. 